Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here to do your daily love update my darlings. Yay! This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you. Okay, just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, just like, you know, don't force any reading, any reading ever into your world, okay? Don't try to squish it if it's not resonating with you. And thank you, Cancers, for all of your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything across the board, man. You guys are the best soul tribe ever. Um, Cancer, I love you guys. We have been through it together, man. And I'm so grateful for every single one of you. Thank you so much for all that you do that helps support me, helps support this channel. Um, all of the support you give to the, the rest of the Soul Tribe as well in those comments. I love you guys. Thank you so much. All right, so Divine, what do you have for Cancer for today? We're using my little um martian deck right oh this thing i do i love it i love this deck all right so divine what do you have for cancer oh thank you movement uh, excitement um are you guys making a home move if some of you are making a home move and you're you're very excited about it could be a long distance or travel plans maybe a vacation coming up or just moving forward with your life, you know, you're feeling really free. You and your, uh, as I'm looking at this, I'm just I'm looking at it as energy just coming at you from all directions. You're just, uh, I, yeah, I'm hearing sucking in all that youth. That's what I'm hearing, sucking in all that youth. I don't know what what that's from, but. Um, yeah, you're sucking in all the youth, all the energy, all you're feeling young again. Some of your like your skin is maybe looking a lot better and you're looking a lot younger. Um, yeah, you've got this excited feeling about the future here. Peace, solitude. I, I feel like you guys could very, very well still be like on your own here. It's a solo journey. Um, but you're, you've got a lot of peace that way, you know, um, and you can go and do and be whatever, whatever it is you want with your new cycle. Um, you're very independent. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. You're very independent. You're on your own. Um, and I feel like you're not even looking for love. Okay. These people, there's two people back here together, but you're off on your own here. You're not really even looking back at uh, anything that has to do with love. I feel like you're broadening your horizons too when it comes to learning more about your spirituality and your spiritual journey. Um, yeah, you feel great in this energy, I've got to say. And you're very comfortable on your own because you've got a lot to think about and plan. Um, and you've got freedom to do and go, like I said, do, go, and be whatever it is that you want. Yeah, and you're bold, resilient, and sassy right now. I love this energy. I do. I love this energy with you. Um, you've been, it says here, resilient. You are. You're like, you're like the epitome, epitome of resiliency, okay? Um, You've taken your hard knocks. You've taken your L's, especially in this journey. Um, you've been put down, talked about, kicked while you were down, dragged through the mud, through the dirt. You've had people backstab you, sabotage your name, use you for no apparent reason, drag you into third-party situations for no reason, really. And you've been resilient through the whole entire thing. All of your struggles through your life, you know, not to mention the last cycle. Just, I mean, it's all your life. You've been resilient, okay? And you're bold because now you're stepping out. You're like, I'm, I'm on my own. I, I can go and do and be whatever I want. I'm sassy, <laughs> right? Yeah, the sassy cancer. Oh, I want to name it that so bad. The sassy cancer. Yeah, look, using your foresight, planning, strategizing, right? 
planning things out in a very bold way. If people are talking about you behind your back and whatever it is that you're doing, um, I feel like you don't care. You don't care what they have to say, you know. Um, if they don't like your outfit, you don't care. They turn away from you, you don't care. If, I mean, you're, you're bold, you're sassy because you've had to be resilient. It's because you've had to be resilient. Um, oh, gosh, it's like, you know, there's only so much you can take. And now you're just freeing yourself from it. And as, as soon as you de decided to do that, you broke away from all of this chitter chatter going on behind your back and, and needing approval from people and wondering if you're on the right path or not. When you're just standing up for yourself and the second you did that, you felt free, bold, and sassy. <laughs> Freaking love it, Cancer. I love it. Divine feminine energy. Yep. Divine feminine energy. Right now in this energy too, you guys, you're very fertile. So very, be careful with that, right? Um, but yeah, divine feminine energy. You're strong. You're an empress energy here. Divine feminines are now taking on empress and emperor energy, both. Because uh, uh, for, for a lot of us, the masculines haven't shown up, you know, so we had to show up for them. So, yeah, I feel like that's what you're doing. You're, you've got both masculine and, and feminine energy right now. Um, divine feminine and like um, emperor and empress, both, I want to say. Okay. Emperor and Empress together with your intuition, highly intuitive, yeah, and bold and sassy. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. The bold and sassy Cancers. <laughs> All right, what can you show me, Divine, for Cancer? <laughs> I love Cancer, man. I love, love you guys. Yes, Temperance Angel. I feel like um, the divine is mixing up a new soulmate connection for you here, Cancer, and they want you to try it. Um, I feel like, um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like you have new love coming in. I'm just seeing this temperance angel with one foot in the water, okay? That suggests to me, try it. You might like it. <laughs> And then I see them mixing up this soulmate connection here, okay? Um, you, this is something you may have had to be really patient for. Or maybe they're, they're saying, be patient. You've been patient. I feel like here with the tower moment, um, we'll clarify the tower. I don't know. It's looking like not a good tower. Be patient. This is something that could just happen very suddenly. Tower moments aren't bad. They're just life-changing. <laughs> they are. They're life-changing, Cancer. But um, but they're not bad. They're not all they're not always bad. They just feel like it. Okay? For sometimes. Somebody's out in the cold here, man says here be patient I feel like they're mixing up new love and I feel like your person's having a tower moment you've got this good sassy but peaceful kind of solo dolo energy yeah your person they want to take a leap of faith towards you here but I feel like I kind of feel get the feeling off of this that your person decided to do something very foolish um, and make you wait okay and they did it for a bit too long and I feel like they were warned here by little Toto you know that they were gonna step right off this cliff I feel like they thought they had time or they thought they could play little games they were being very foolish here and they waited too long and I feel like you're moving forward. You could even be moving away, away to another part of the world, long distance travel, okay? But you're moving forward no matter where you are. And I feel like this person, now they know it, 
they're out in the cold because they know, and you know, with high, the High Priestess here now, that you're going to be getting new love coming in. I've, it's been all over anyway. We, we all know new love is coming in, okay? New love is coming in. Um, and your person knows it too. And I feel like their, their world is kind of crumbling right now including their health. Their health is really dwindling. And I, I, I got to say, I've been picking that up in a lot of readings. Um, I feel like they were, they were once a player, thought they were better than you. You know, with the chariot here, I could say that that's your energy, but I feel like it's your person, just very arrogant. Even the, even the little um, Sphinx here is looking back at this guy like, what are you doing, right? Um, yeah, I feel like they, they completely ruined their chance to get back together with you here, Cancer, I gotta say. Maybe they said something, or maybe they're coming in to say, I feel like they're taking the sword and just <laughs> killing it, you know what I mean? With it, this, this is what they did. I feel like they played and completely ruined uh, their chance at something, building something very successful and solid. Okay, you see what I'm saying? And they, they seemed very arrogant about it. Like, I don't care. I want the flashiest of the flashy, you know? And cancer's not it. I feel like they, they really underestimated you. Two shakes before this one is the Seven of Pentacles, where you're kind of like always in peasant clothing with an empty basket, unable to, you know, uh, reap any kind of reward, and you're always struggling. Now, now, you're the Empress and the Minor Arcana here. You got nine pentacles, and most you can have in the deck is ten. And then you're all by your lonesome out here. You're single. Like I said, you're solo, solo, independent right? Planning your future, working on building your future here in your abundance, really, really focused on yourself and bold and sassy and not giving a crap who thinks what about that, right? I feel like this person just completely played you, didn't care, said some mean, harsh things maybe when, when they left the scene, ruined their chance to build something solid here with you, I feel like they ruined their chance to even reunite here. Uh, and I feel like at the time they didn't care. Now look at how they've dwindled down. Look at that. Now they were once like this. I'm all fancy schmancy, right? And a playa. And I like everything fancy here, right? Now they're like this. Poor health. They've been through it in that time of separation, okay? They've been through it. I feel like whatever they were standing in here, because they were at a crossroads with somebody else that they followed into poverty, right? Um, I feel like um, that's crumbling down wherever they were with the tower moment. I feel like that's for them. Because this person just took too many risks with an empress in the minor arcana. You don't do that. And a high priestess? Now, they can't get anything past you either, you know? You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, another Cancer. An Aquarius. Any air sign, fire sign. Oh, Scorpio. I'm feeling Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries. All right, what else can you show me for Cancer? The moon. Yeah. I, I get the feeling, honestly, I, you know... Uh, I get the feeling that this person, number one, they're hiding a lot. They're hiding a lot. They could be hiding the fact that they got married. Um, I just feel like this person is hiding a lot. You could be dealing with an earth sign. 
it, it's in regards to maybe a commitment or this third party situation. They could have been hiding the fact that there wasn't just you and someone else. There was um, a third person here as well. I'm getting the feeling like they had another individual on the side. And I feel like they really don't want to tell you that. What's with this poor health? What is the, uh, clarify the five of pentacles. What's with their health? I would just want to know what they're not telling you, okay? But I want to check their health first. Yeah. I feel like they've had people attacking you, you know? I could see this as competition and you're holding off all the competition, but that's not what I'm seeing. I feel like this person could have rallied people against you, to be honest with you. There's something there they don't want to tell you is what I'm feeling. They're keeping something hidden. And I feel like they've told a bunch of people some things about you, turned them against you. Yeah, see, bottom of the deck, yes. Thank you. And I feel like that's all going to, you know what, honestly? Ha, <laughs> really? What I'm seeing here, um, what I'm seeing here is, yeah, they did say stuff to other people and turn them against you. I feel like in a lot of ways, all of these people started shooting negative energy at you. They really did. But you you know what? You, I feel like you defended yourself. You know how. You know how. Becoming an empress. Getting on this empress throne. Okay? Um, taking control of your life and not giving a crap. Being bold, sassy, and resilient. And not giving a crap what these people were saying. Okay? That's how you defeated these people. Truth. Standing up for yourself, standing in your truth, standing in your integrity. That's how you defeated these people. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, now the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. I kind of get the feeling like you passed a test here. Um, yeah, uh, just by being bold and sassy for your own self and not really giving a crap what these people had to say. You know? All right, what else can you show me for the bold and sassy cancer? <laughs> I love that. Oh, all right, what can you show me? <laughs> You've never really been bold and sassy before, cancer. You've always been pretty meek. Meek and sweet and kind and considerate. You're just, I mean, you're still kind, considerate, sweet, and everything, but you're you are bold and sassy along with it now. That's awesome. All right. What can you show me? Oop, that's way too many, though, Divine. The Lover's card. Somebody wants a brand new beginning with you here. But this has come to an end. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Wands. The Hermit in reverse. Yeah, I feel like someone's realizing they just don't have a defense. They're not, I feel like, you know, what could have been a wonderful new beginning, honestly, a very passionate new beginning, and uh, I feel like um, this could even be a twin flame soulmate connection, okay? But I feel like this could have been, you, you could have had this passionate new start with this person, but I feel like it's come to an end here I really do I feel like you've made this judgment call you're moving forward you you have climbed to uh, grown you've grown to the top of the of this Empress throne here that's what I'm seeing and I feel like this person's gonna have to put in a lot of effort to meet you at your energy you're gonna need somebody who's going to meet you at this energy I feel like now, Cancer, that's all you're going to really accept, okay? 
And this person is still like down, trying to hide things from you, you know. Um, and in, until they come to you and do it right, this thing is over. It's done. You're not going to accept anything less than someone approaching you correctly. And I feel like this person watches you, but they can't see a way to fix anything. They don't have a defense. They've realized that. I think they're snapping out of hermit energy, but they've realized a lot. They've realized that this was a blessing in love, and now they are cut the F off. They're cut off. You cut them off. This is you saying, yeah, there was love here. There really was. There was a blessing here. You've never denied it. They have. You've never denied that this was a blessing in love. Never. They did. It's just the fact that blessing or, in, or no blessing, your person or not your person, if you're not getting anything back except for um, being held down and held back from living your life, if that's all you're getting out of it, and this person doesn't even have the decency to even come and make things right, you, you're calling it quits on this. This is you making a decision like, no. No, you're firm about it here. You're firm about it. Yeah, this and look, bottom of the deck, this person, here's the thing, now they, they're watching you in bad health, once again we've got bad health, and feeling stuck, trapped, almost jailed, this person, for some of you, your person is in jail, or they're going to be, and they're going to be watching you, all grumpy like this because they they never confronted all the crappy things that they did they didn't confront they didn't take responsibility they didn't take accountability for all of the way the poor ways that they treated you okay cancer so they get to watch you now over here because you blocked that you're like nope no no more no more but this blessing is still out here and look at this. They're going to watch you. I feel like this is somebody new coming in for victory. Now, this is somebody who's been through much of the same kind of battle you've been through, okay? Um, this is somebody who puts in a lot of effort. Like, you've put in a lot of effort into yourself, right, in this journey. You've picked yourself up from the ground and built yourself up, right? Healed from the wounds that these other people gave you. And, and you forged on and built something big. This person's been through much of the same journey. They've been through a battle. And they're coming out victorious. You've got a victory. They've got a victory. And this is a person I feel like they're being cheered on in the public eye. I feel like they're, they're coming in to find the person that they want. I feel like this is new love coming in here. And your person has to watch yeah they have to watch someone else man up and and do the thing that they should have done yeah so i do feel like you have new love approaching you here and your person your person has to watch from afar because they just didn't take any action you know, and I feel like with your arms crossed like this and bold and sassy and resilient and smiling, you're like, yep, okay, well, <laughs> you know, too bad for them. What can you say? They, they, they played an empress here. And they didn't make anything right. They did a lot of bad things here. And they didn't make it right. Yeah, I feel like someone's going to come in. If this is your person's energy, it took them way too long to come in. Way too long. I feel like you're about to have a couple of people come towards you, Cancer. One may be your person. I know one wants to, a victory. Somebody else wants to offer, give you an offer of stability. You've got nine pentacles here. 
the only thing you don't have is that one pinnacle, right? That stands for some, like a love, a partnership, something you can build something solid with, right? Here comes somebody with that one pinnacle. Now you don't have to accept, don't accept every offer that comes towards you, right? Use your discernment and your intuition, but you're going to start having people coming towards you. And I see this as two separate people here. Um, one, though, I feel like your person is still attached to devil energy. So be careful. If your person comes in and you know who it is that I'm talking about, um, they're still attached to the devil. So they, they may have an addiction or an obsession or um, a, a toxic relationship that they're in, something like that. I feel like one of these people is stuck um, still with someone else. But you've got a couple of different offers coming towards you, okay? All right, what else can you show me for cancer? Higher font. Yeah, and anybody who has sabotaged you in the past, talked about you behind your back, I feel like they're going to be learning a lesson. I feel like... You know, this could be your person's energy, still tied up with this toxic individual, learning their lessons from that, how they backstabbed you. I feel like the same thing is going to be done to them in this situation. Yeah, so they're getting sat down, learning a lesson, remembering you, thinking about you nonstop while other suitors come in. That's really what I'm getting here. You're get, you're going to start getting offers from other people, meeting new people here. And I feel like because your person still chooses to be with the devil, okay, in a toxic relationship and backstab and betray people, they're, you're protected from this person. The divine, I don't think the divine wants this person around you, to be honest. But they're doing nothing but thinking about you. They cannot get you off of their mind. And I feel like that's part of the lesson. Right? That's part of the lesson. They're being made to sit down. Yep. And um, I feel like they're just, they're all they're doing is thinking about you, Cancer. Yeah, they want to they wanna reach out. I'm telling you, you're going to hear from multiple people here. I think there's a lot of people, actually, that want to get back into your inner circle, to be honest with you. And I don't know that they're all good. I feel like these could be people that you let go of and, and walked away from and left behind in the, in the last cycle. So, you know, use your discernment with these people because I feel like it's multiple people. I feel like people are, there's new people coming in. I feel like there's going to be people from your past, too, that are going to try to talk to you, Cancer. Because this cycle is closing, you're moving forward. Uh, you're in Empress energy here, extremely independent. You don't need these people from your past, and you're being bold and sassy about it. And nothing is getting getting to you. Like... These people, I feel like people have tried to get back into your inner circle. They've tried to talk to you. They've tried to call you, whatever, message you. And you're just resilient to it all. Like, I don't even think you're talking to these people. Um, if you are, you're probably kind, but you're also bold, right? Like, no, we're not going to do this again. Yeah, um, I feel like there's multiple people that are trying to get back in with... With the bold and sassy cancer. Yeah, but I don't feel like they can. And I know one in particular, I feel like um, they're being held back in class. <laughs> I gotta say, they are. They're being held back. Um, they're learning their lessons. So just be ready, Cancer. You've got a lot of communication coming towards you. I feel like you have um, at least two suitors coming towards you. I feel like your person is um, still attached to toxic energy, uh, but they can't stop thinking about you. They're, they're having to learn a lesson from all of this crap. So, 
But yeah, you're about to get a lot of communication here coming in fast. And honestly, I you know, you're just resilient to a lot of it. For some of you, you may not even answer these people. You know. Yeah, the magician. Because you know these people are trying anything they can to get back in. It doesn't mean they're being real with you. It just means that they're trying anything that they can. They may even say that. I'll do anything that I can to get back with you. I'll, I'll do anything that I have to, right, to get back into your good graces, right? They will. But the thing with the magician is, is that this isn't, you know, the magician will utilize every tool to change things around um, for them, right? Try to get things changed around. But do they, can, do they keep using every single tool? No, they don't. They just change it and then they're in and then that's it. They go back to the, you're going to know. You're going to be like, yeah, but you're just, you're a magician, you know? And after the show is over, it goes back to normal, okay? You know, the magician goes home and gets into his boxer shorts just like every other, you know? So, yeah, I feel like you, you these people are just going to try to pull out, uh, try to utilize everything that they can in order to get back into your you know, your uh, good graces, your life. So just be aware of that. I feel like it's multiple people. All right, what else can you show me? Magician's like, I don't like the way you, you said that about me just now. <laughs> yeah, they may even say that. They may say, I don't like the way you're thinking. And you're going to be like, you're just going to go back to the way you were before. And I don't want that anymore. I won't tolerate it. I'm bold. I'm sassy. That's how it is. You know? Yeah, Page of Swords. Yeah, they're, here's the thing. They're, it's like they're running at you with something to say, but they don't even have their freaking eyes open, man. It's like they're coming at you, and whatever it is that they're saying to you, it's not even really making sense. It's almost like, they, they, they don't they don't see these people just don't see that they can't just come back in with oh you know um little gifts and niceness and i and promises and y you know what i mean little cup of love here they can't just utilize their tools and, and get back in it not anymore you're on to this now you're in empress and emperor energy okay you're bold and you're sassy and you're resilient to all of this this just seems so fake to me doesn't it this guy's running with the sword with his eyes closed okay and then this magician what do you mean my i rented this cape it's high quality you know they just don't get it but you see you see okay all right <laughs> i think i might name it that these people just don't get it i i think i just might name it that but i also like the bold and sassy cancer so i don't know yeah i feel like that these are you're gonna see it as this you know they just don't get it you can tell them this information you can give them this information but they it's like it's not enough they they don't understand okay yeah walk away from this leave these people behind walk away leave it leave it behind okay queen of swords i i feel like you just have the truth you, and you can hold your tongue look at how her hand is on that sword okay that's what it is hold your tongue move forward you don't need to say anything bad to them. Just walk away. Thank you, Divine. Just walk away. Just walk away. Hold your tongue. You don't need to be, you don't need to say anything cold or anything like that. Just know that you're stepping into a whole new life. 
you're leaving these people behind. You won't have to deal with them again, okay? And the divine sees everything that goes on, including your actions. So if you're going to say anything to them, speak to them with kindness. Don't be cutting. Hold that sword. Hold it, okay? And just cross over into this new cycle. It's going to be abundant. You're already very well balanced. You know, you've, you've passed all the other tests. I feel like this is also a test that you can pass. It could be the final goodbye. Don't be cutting, okay? Because that's something you'll regret, all right? Yeah. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got. That's what I've got for this quick reading. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Um, I love you. I love my peeps so, so much. Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. Become a new Mooney. I love this soul tribe. Um, and until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.